In this hands-on video, we take a look at iOS 10.3 Beta 1. This is currently available for developers and it brings a new Find My AirPod feature to iOS. AirPods are by nature prone to being misplaced or lost because they're wireless and they're very small. And for some people, they tend to fall out of their ears, unfortunately. But Apple has come to the rescue with a new Find My AirPod feature that is built into the Find My iPhone app in iOS 10.3. So the Find My AirPod feature is going to be limited because it works over Bluetooth. So you're not going to have the same range as finding an iPhone, for instance, but it is still handy, especially if you know that you lost your AirPods somewhere around the house, maybe in the couch cushions or something like that. The ability to admit sound is going to make these things much easier to find. Uh, the map isn't as useful due to the limited range, but the sound feature is going to be very useful if you lose your AirPods somewhere around the house. So here's an example of iOS 10.3's Find My iPhone app with the Apple AirPods listed under My Devices. So you can just tap on there, you can find the location of your AirPods on a map, or you can make the AirPods emit a sound individually for each AirPod. So you just tap play sound, and then eventually you will hear a sound coming from each AirPod. And you can actually, you can hear it in the background there. So the map allows you to easily isolate a specific AirPod if you wish to do so. So I can tap mute left and only the right AirPod will make a sound. Or I can tap mute right and only the left AirPod will make a sound. So if you misplace or lose one of your AirPods but you still have the other in the vicinity, you can use the mute feature to hone in on the lost AirPod so that you can easily find it. Now it should go without saying that before you use this feature, you wanna make sure that the AirPods are out of your ears. The sound does ramp up a bit, but it ramps up pretty quickly and it gets really loud. And otherwise you could damage your hearing if you have these in your ears while using this feature. So be careful out there, folks. There's lots of other goodies in 10.3 as well, including some behind the scenes goodies like a new file system. Yes, APFS is here on iOS. There's also a new podcast widget, which works a lot like the music app widget. There's also new iCloud analytics that you can opt into to help Apple improve iCloud. And for our friends over in India, you can now get Indian Premier League cricket scores from Siri. And that's not all, of course. Apple is adding an API where apps can request to ask for a review. That is really nice. And not only that, app developers will be able to respond to reviews in the future, which will go a long way towards eliminating those communication barriers present currently in the App Store. Very good news for developers and customers. And in iOS 10.3, you now own the settings app because your name, your photo is at the very top of the settings and this provides you with all of your account information in one handy location. It gives you access to all of your iCloud connected devices in one handy location. And you can see the status of your devices. You can see information pertinent information about those devices. It's just a really nice consolidated view. And you can also, if you tap on the little iCloud section, see a nice visual depiction of your iCloud storage situation. So that's gonna help you out to know how much iCloud storage you have remaining, what's taking up that storage, etc. And in iOS 10.3, CarPlay was shown some love as well. It now has quick access to the last three apps used for quick switching without having to go back to the home screen. That is a really nice feature. And the search suggestion interface and Spotlight got a little facelift. It now looks more like a part of the overall Spotlight package. Now, I don't know how many people noticed this, but I noticed that the animations seem to be tweaked a little bit. You have more rounded rectangles when closing and opening applications from the home screen. It just seems like the animations, along with being slightly tweaked, are a little smoother. Things seem a little snappier, but that could just be a placebo effect, who knows? But you guys let me know down below in the comment section, are you noticing changes with the animations in iOS 10.3? Do you like it, etc. So as I showed you, iOS 10.3 is headlined by the Find My AirPods feature, but as you saw, there are lots of additional features as well and probably more to be discovered. Folks, what's your favorite new iOS 10.3 feature? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. Be sure to check out these other videos and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe for frequent updates on a regular basis.